Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Marr, that noisy area is my mentalist. And welcome to Page Turners They Were Not, my Star Wars podcast. Today, I would like to talk about the bright future of the Star Wars franchise. Bright, because I'm going into this with full-on optimism. Now, as I have mentioned on this podcast, three Star Wars films have been announced, a new trilogy. Now, whether the movies are connected has not been declared by Lucasfilm, but I suspect they are. We know, of course, that the guys in charge of these films are Benioff and Weiss, the showrunners of Game of Thrones. Now, it has not been it has not been we are not privy to whether they are directing these movies or not. That has not been announced yet. We do know that they are producing them and are writing them. But looking into their into their filmography, they have only directed two episodes a piece of Game of Thrones and have written a majority of them. So I believe it is highly likely as I've said before, that they will produce and write and they will hire directors to direct the films. So it is, that also brings us to the possibility that Ryan Johnson's supposed Star Wars trilogy may be one and the same with Benioff and Weiss's trilogy. Perhaps Benioff and Weiss produce and write it, and Ryan Johnson directs it. Yet again, we do not know, but it is highly likely that directors will be brought in. Unless Benioff and Weiss wish to take on the task themselves. So, that will be very interesting. Now, we have the release dates for these films. December of 2022, 2024, and 2026. With Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, being the supposed end of the Skywalker saga, these new films will be about something else. Now, of course, many fans, including myself, have said it would be quite nice to see films not about people we already know, but also films set in the distant past of Star Wars, the time of the Jedi and the Sith, Knights of the Old Republic, retold, if you will. The story of the battles between the Jedi and the Sith, and how that shaped the galaxy. Now, I don't think this is the only thing that Benioff and Weiss should be exploring. I believe that there is a whole multitude of stories that can be told in Star Wars that are not connected to the Skywalker saga. Whether they take place after the events of the nine films, or whether they take place before, there is so much to explore. Star Wars is a big galaxy, and therefore there is wide open spaces wide open fields to harvest, if you will. So that has got me excited. 
Now, there are rumors and reports flying around about other movie projects. But the Benioff and Weiss trilogy has officially been announced from Lucasfilm and Disney. These others have been rumored or have been announced in other sources. And I've been very... I have not been inclined to trust reports coming through third parties. For me, unless it is actually reported by Lucasfilm and Disney, I'm going to take these reports with a grain of salt. But as I said, the Benny Alvin Weiss trilogy has officially been announced by Lucasfilm. Therefore, this is set in stone, unless, of course, you know, something goes wrong and they have to rethink their strategy. But this is not coming from a third party, it is coming from the horse's mouth. This brings us to the other bright future of Star Wars television. If we can call streaming shows television. Of course, The Mandalorian is coming soon, starting this fall. Which I'm over the moon excited about. Particularly considering the talent behind it. John Favreau is demonstrated his brilliance as a director for Hollywood films. And as an actor, but so giving him the opportunity to be the showrunner of The Mandalorian was a great decision. Now, as I always say, the proof's in the pudding. Hopefully, this series is good, but I have a lot of faith in it. Whenever I look at an upcoming film, I or or a television show lately or streaming show. I often look more at who's directing it, who's writing it, who are the showrunners. You know, particularly with film, I look at the director's resume. And I do not look at the actors. I mean, sometimes that's exciting. To see, oh, you know, Daniel day Lewis is doing this. Yay! You know. But usually for me, it's the director, and with streaming shows, it's often the showrunners and writers that help me gauge, or at least attempt to get a sense of, is it going to be good? And of course, it doesn't always work to think in this way, but I find that more often than not the filmography of these creators plays an important role in my anticipation of that product. Therefore, if someone like, say, Paul Thomas Anderson or Christopher Nolan is doing a new film, which Christopher Nolan is, by the way, that gets me excited because of their track records. So, John Favreau's track record leads me to believe that The Mandalorian would be a lot of fun. And, get to explore a part of the story that we don't really know. About characters we don't know. That's exciting. I'm not going to get too deep into, ooh, what character could we see show up? I, at this point, I don't think that's important. It was really exciting at Star Wars Celebration to see Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano and the great Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed himself, at Star Wars Celebration, and seeing how excited they were for this. And it seemed to me that Carl Weathers has been in Star Wars before, but he hasn't been. He has that kind of 
almost familiarity to us, even though he's never been in Star Wars. And then, of course, we get the Cassian Andor streaming series. Uh, Diego Luna's character from Rogue One. And it has been announced that K2SO will reprise his role. Or should I say Alan Tiddick will reprise his role as K2SO. Everyone's favorite reprogrammed droid. They still have not announced what this third series is. There are various rumors flying that it's about Obi-Wan or it's about Darth Bane. Until we get an official announcement, I'm going to look at everything with a grain of salt. And I recommend that you do the same. But as far as I'm concerned, the future of Star Wars looks bright. I'm, of course, beyond excited for the Rise of Skywalker. I have faith in those behind it. And I'm willing to put all my expectations aside and take what comes, and either I like it, or I don't. If I do like it, yay, it adds to the story. If I don't like it, the movies that I do love are still there. So the future is bright for Star Wars. I'm optimistic, and I'm excited about what is coming to this galaxy far, far away. So my name is Brennan Moore. Thank you so much for tuning in to Page Turners They Were Not. My Star Wars Podcast. May the Force be with you.